everybody, welcome back to another episode of Goodreads. I want to start off with a case 47-year-old male presenting with chest pain. I encourage you to hit your pause button, look at this 12 lead, see if you can figure out what's going on because this 12 lead has a cute MI written all over it but will never meet ST segment elevation. And so what I want to draw your attention to is this massive T wave or ST segment depression in T wave inversions in V1, V2, V3. And what we're actually seeing on this normal 12 lead is we're seeing the reciprocal changes from an MI on the backside of the heart. So how this looks is that our infarcted area of the heart is this posterior wall. And just like with any other 12 leads that we see in heart attacks, if we have, for example, an inferior MI, which is down on kind of, you can't quite see it, but on the backside of this heart, then we're going to get reciprocal changes on the lateral side. So on inferior MIs, that's why we see reciprocal changes in one and ABL, because those are our lateral leads. Well, same concept here. If we have an MI on the back side of the heart, where are we going to see our reciprocal change? It's exact mirror. We're going to see it on the anterior portions, which is going to give us profound ST segment depressions, T wave inversions in V1, V2, and V3. And so this is when we can move those electrodes back and get our 15 lead, V7, V8, and V9. And this is what happened in this situation. And all we need is one millimeter of ST segment elevation in these augmented leads, or V7, V8, V9, or V4R. And we have that here in V7, we have that in V8, and we have one millimeter in V9. This is a posterior STEMI. Would have never caught it on an actual normal 12 lead without moving those leads back. But what can clue you into that is that massive reciprocal change that we see in those anterior leads. So here's another great example. ST segment depression, some T wave inversions in V1, big time ST segment depressions in V2, as well as V3, even out to V4. Again, we put those leads on the backside of the heart, V7, V8, and V9 we would see that ST segment elevation, but this will never meet ST segment elevation criteria by itself. And again, last example, see the same thing. You can see ST segment depressions V2 out here in V3 because that MI is on the back side of the heart. So for a reference, whenever we see this on a 12 lead, that's what should prompt us to get that V7, V8, and V9 and go looking for that posterior STEMI.